Can you use your home equity to buy an investment property? The simple answer is yes. If you have enough tappable equity in your current home, you can use your home tappable equity to buy or make a down payment on investment property. The question is, should you? In this episode of Let's Talk Real Estate, I answer a question that I hear often. People often ask me if they should use their home equity to buy an investment property. Another blessed day in South Florida, I'm Getchen Sherry, founder of Homes Natural Realty, and I thank you for watching and for your continued support. Please share this video with as many people as possible. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos, please feel free to subscribe. Now let's dive right into it. Should you use your home equity to buy an investment property? As you can imagine, the answer to the question whether you should use your home equity to buy an investment property depends on your circumstances. In this video, I explain the processes involved and analyze the advantages and disadvantages associated with taking out the equity from your primary home to purchase an investment property. Nonetheless, before tapping into your home equity, be sure it is the right financial decision for you. Generally, you can access your home tappable equity by taking out a second mortgage loan on your current home. To do so, you may elect to take a home equity loan or a home equity line of credit, which is also referred to as a HELOC. Please note, some lenders may not allow you to buy a property with borrowed money. So if you plan on buying an investment property with money you borrow from your home equity, I suggest you shop around to find a lender who will allow you to do so. Also, it is important to let you know that most lender requires at least 20% down payment when you purchase a, an investment property. Now, the question is, what is a second mortgage loan and how does it work? In a nutshell, when you access your home tappable equity, you are taking out a second mortgage loan and you are using your home as collateral to secure the second loan. Thus, in addition to your primary mortgage, you are giving the lender a second mortgage or a lien on your home. Actually, the process works similar, just like getting a primary mortgage loan. After you research potential lenders for favorable loan terms and decided on a lender, you will apply and submit all the relevant paperwork. Please note, note, some lenders may require your home to be appraised prior to loan approval. So the question is, what is the difference between a home equity loan and a HELOC? A home equity loan is a lump sum amount that the lender lends to you at a fixed interest rate. The money is paid to you up front and you are required to pay back the money in a fixed monthly installment over a set period of time. The repayment period usually ranges between 5 to 30 years, whereas a HELOC is a revolving credit line for up to a specified limit amount with variable interest rate. You can use and reuse the money up to your credit limit. Your payments are, are usually based on the amount that you use plus interest. In some cases, with the HELOC, you can repay and re, repay and reuse your credit line for up to 10 years. Also, most lenders offer HELOCs with an interest only option, meaning you will be allowed to only pay the interest only. Therefore, it will allow your opportunity to lower your payments as much as possible. How much money can you borrow with a home equity loan or a HELOC? Your circumstances are unique. Therefore, your tappable equity will depend on your circumstances. But generally, lenders consider the balance of your existing mortgage loan, the new loan amount, and any other loan that are secured by your home. In other words, lenders consider the combined loan-to-value ratio of your home, also known as CLTV. To determine the CLTV ratio 
of your home, divide the total debt you have in your home by the amount, your value of your home. For example, if your total debt is $300,000 and your current home value is $500,000, then your CLTV will be 60%. $300,000 divided by $500,000 equal 60%. So, if your home is worth $500,000 and you owe $300,000, you would have $200,000 equity in your home. $500,000 minus 300,000 equals 200,000. However, many lenders offer a home equity loan for up to 80% CLTV. Assuming the, lend, assuming the lender's maximum CLTV is 80%, to calculate your maximum home equity loan or HELOC, you will first multiply your home value by 80%, so, for example, 500000 multiplied by 80% would equal $400,000. Then you will take, you will subtract your current loan balance from that amount. So, assuming you have $300,000 debt or loan a balance on the property, you will subtract that three hundred dollars from the four hundred. dollars That will leave you $100,000. Therefore, your maximum tappable equity would be $100,000. Of course, it comes without any surprises that it will cost you to take out a second mortgage. So what are the costs of using your home equity to buy an investment property? While the costs vary from lender to lender, you can expect to pay between 2 to 5% towards closing costs for a home equity loan or a HELOC. However, for a HELOC, you may also be required to pay ongoing annual fees and maintenance fees that are not usually charged, that would not be charged on a home equity loan. In any case, I suggest you check with your banking institution to see if the institution offers any discounts on home equity loans or HELOCs. What are the advantages of using your home equity loan to buy an investment property? As I previously stated, most lenders require you to put 20 to 25% down payment when you're buying an investment property. Buying an investment property is an excellent under undertaking because while you only put 20 to 25% down, you get 100% of the appreciation. A home equity loan can provide you with sufficient money to make a larger down on your investment property. Therefore, you may not have to tap into your cash reserves, 401k, or other retirement funds. With a home equity loan, you can borrow money with a fixed interest rate and a long-term repayment plan. Whereas with a HELOC, in some cases, you can repay or we use your credit line for up to 10 years. HELOCs offer lower interest rates than home equity loan initially, but HELOCs have variable interest rates which may increase over time. Now, what are the disadvantages of using your home equity to buy an investment property? One of the major disadvantages of using your home equity to buy an investment property is that you are risking both your primary home and the investment property. Remember, you are taking out a second loan on your primary home and you are using your primary home as collateral to secure the second loan. So therefore, if you are unable to make the payments on your home equity loan, you may be facing foreclosure and eviction. Another disadvantage of using your home equity to buy an investment property is that you may become overwhelmed with debt, particularly if the investment property does not generate sufficient income to cover the debt services or for all the mortgage loan payments. Thus, you may be required to pay three mortgages out of pocket at the same time. For example, the remaining loan balance of your primary home, 
Number two, the second mortgage loan balance. And three, the loan balance of the investment property. The bottom line is, if you have sufficient tappable equity of your home, you can tap into it to buy or make a down payment on investment property. However, it is imperative that you ensure that the investment property you are buying can generate or will generate sufficient income to pay all the debts. Therefore, I encourage you to consider your current and future financial circumstances. I also encourage you to find the right lender and the right investment property. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, I ask you to please share this video, subscribe, and as always, I thank you for your continued support. Until next time, have a blessed and productive day. Thank you.